What's up guys, BTBS here. One second. Yeah, no, everything's fine. And welcome back to another episode of Skygrid. Now, first things first. Uh, I did what I usually do in my uh, time off screen. Uh, got rid of a few bits of lava and, lava and water that were floating around. Found a chest with a mushroom egg in it, which I was very happy about. But I managed to find these. These little bastards hiding in one of my chests. And I've been waiting to do this. I actually found them a couple of episodes ago, but I forgot about it. And I didn't want to do it off camera because I like to do the things I enjoy with the people I love. Sadly, I couldn't be with the people I love today, so I have to, be, have to share it with you guys. I just need to throw a couple in. Just Oh, just watch them. He wanted to live. He really wanted to live. Well, that can't be taken. Right, clear out all the melon. But yeah, uh, that's the problem with having unsorted chests, you end up with random shit everywhere. So I don't know if there's any more, oh that's where my TNT is. I don't know if there's any more sitting around, but uh, there's definitely no more around here. Oh yeah, as you may be able to tell, I um, I named my Ender Defender. It's pattern pending. I have never heard it been called an Ender Defender before, and I like the sound of it, so I thought, you know what, that's mine. It's my Ender Defender. Oh yes, uh, before we go down, where's the tree farm? Is this side? Fucking hell! I really need to put some kind of marker so I know which side uh, is safe. Like where it actually is, because I keep just running down there and as you can tell, I fall. Did I take the wood? No, I didn't take the wood. But yeah, it's, um, it's a lot of fun I suppose. I don't think I've died. Oh, I had signs on me already. Oh, fucking hell. Gosh, it's not off to a good start. I don't think I've ever actually died from falling off of here. I might have, like, landed on one of these further down and died. But I never go down there with good stuff anyway. Oh. Oh, fuck. Okay, that could have been very bad. Um, yes, I'm going to start paying attention now. Right, there we go. Also, took out a couple of random blocks above there while I was bored and updated some sand. Bubbles! Bubbles! Bubbles want coal! Sorry, sorry, one second, Bubbles, is that? It is! Bubbles want actual coal! I will give you coal, Bubbles! Love you, Bubbles! So, uh, yeah, Bubbles needs a nameplate. There we go, Bubbles the Levitating Cocknose Manchild. Also guys, don't give me shit if I spelt any of that wrong. Bad spelling is just something I do. Oh god, it's night time. At least everyone knows who Bubbles is now. Yeah, you guys, you guys suck. Bubbles is awesome. Fuck you guys. Bubbles is actually the first in a very long line of uh, testificates with which I... Oh no, I was going to say with which I'd be having my way, that doesn't sound quite right, that sounds a bit rapey, and if I was going to rape anything in this game, it'd be a slime. I think you all know why. Right. Eat some cow. Now, I have a pit that I should do. Oh actually, I want water buckets. I swear I had a bucket on me. Oh, I better not have thrown it off the edge again. I've thrown like two or three buckets over the edge by accident. I just don't realise, and the next thing I know, there's no bucket there. Oh, fuck it, let's just take one of these. Yeah, let, let's use the beef on the water. That's gonna work. Just have a quick check. Uh, yeah, my difficulty is still on a moment, just that's not good. good. I just I keep changing it randomly around when I'm on my creative world or whatever like that. Right. 
what I want to build today is going to be awesome. We have a squid spawner here, and I was planning on building this anyway. Also, what the fuck? What have we got there? Dual spider spawners. God damn it, I could have made a spider grinder right near my house. So I've got my uh, skelly grinder, or as you may know it, the traitorous genocide machine. And I'm happy with that for now. But yeah, um, mm, I didn't want to do that first, so. I found this squid spawner sitting right next to my house. And I was going to build a pool anyway. So I was going to build a. Why don't I put the iron there? I was going to build a pool anyway. So now I will have wildlife in my pool. Which I happen to think is pretty fucking awesome. Fuck you, wood. Off you go. And um, I've actually been given a bit more thought. Last uh, episode, I think it was, or one of the one of the previous episodes, uh, I talked about. Someone asked me the question, what I would do if I ever made it like really big on YouTube, and I kind of just ducked around and avoided it because I didn't really have an answer. Because I couldn't think of anything, but I thought of something now. Yeah, if, if I ever really did make it like huge on YouTube, my uh, the main thing I would do is I wanna I would wanna live off it. I would I would love to be able to make a living, earning enough money to live off, maybe even for some luxuries, by doing this sort of stuff, making videos for you guys. There'd probably be a lot more of you by the time if I could actually make a living off of it. But yeah, I've um, it's something that I'm pretty sure every YouTuber aspires for. The ability to, to make YouTube their job, but a job that they enjoy. So it's not like you're forcing yourself to do it. If you're doing it because you love it... Oh shit! Oh fuck! Oh... Oh, well, I dropped a bollock there. My ankle's okay. <gasps> I can't see them. Fuck. Oh, God, where was I? Oh, that threw me right for a loop there. Bucket of water. Which way did I go off? It's this way, isn't it? Right, um. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's something that, like, most uh, YouTubers aspire towards. Like, if they had the option to make a living from it just do what they do but full time so you know they could put more effort into it and they could spend longer doing it oh no ah there it is come on I need my brick and stone brick back come on oh man come on there's got to be something left there's a fucking enderman spawner over there oh wrong button uh, Come on, come on. Oh, it doesn't look good. I'm not seeing high amounts of entities anywhere. Oh, fuck, I've lost my items. Anyway, yeah, back to what I was saying. Um, I think it's something that all uh, YouTubers aspire towards. Being able to turn YouTube into... I, I don't know if job is the right word, but it's something that you do and you get paid for and you can make a decent living off of. I mean, I've only been doing this for a very short while, but already you guys have been awesome, you know, giving me comments on my videos, giving me ideas about stuff like map different other maps to play. I mean, I even got a comment the other day, uh, not a comment, sorry, a PM. Someone was like, uh, oh, you're not been back to the Nether in a while. What's up with that? I was like, don't worry, guys, I am, I am going to be going back to the Nether, but I want to be a kid. I want to be suited and booted ready for that, I do not want to fuck around when it comes to the nether. I want to make sure I am actually ready for it. So it's going to be probably a while, but we have to go back there to get blaze rods so that we can uh, get to the end anyway. So it will definitely be before the end of the series, I can promise you that. Uh, I hope that's good enough, because right now that's all I can say, because I don't even know when I'm going to be going back there. Like I say, I do not plan much. I just sort of wing it. 
Like, uh, I have been doing pretty much nothing all day, just uh, been sat here, got a day off from work, which is lovely, and I've been sat here and watching uh, Pause on Pause, uh, watching his Minecraft series, and I've actually been doing this for quite a while, and I think I'm up to his 110th video now. I started from his very first video because I hadn't actually seen any of them put out in order. But yeah, I've uh, I've been sp I just spent the day pretty much watching those, enjoying my time off from work as and when I can get it, you know. And uh, I had something else to say. Oh yeah, that's right. I actually queued up something to talk about for this video because um, I've always had no topics. And that's usually because I never do anything. Like most LPers talk about their lives or stuff. Well, I don't have much of a life at all, really. I pretty much just do this the whole time. And yet, but when I'm not recording, I just sort of play in silence or listen to music. In fact, I've been listening to this guy. Um, let me just check the name. Uh, Jim Cook. And. I, I want to recommend him to you guys. This guy does heavy metal cover of Zelda songs and stuff like that, and they are incredible. I can't actually play one of them for you right now because I haven't got permission or the rights or whatever, and I don't want to get like a strike on my YouTube record. But I promise you guys, if you love Zelda, which let's face it, everybody on the internet does, or if you just want to listen to some kick-ass rock music with a couple of most bitchin' banjo solos ever, check him out. Once again, that name is... Fuck, I forgot. Um, Jim Cook. Trust me, you will not be sorry. Anyway, that's not that's actually not what I wanted to talk about this episode. Uh, one of the other things I do, apart from Minecraft and nothing, is reading. And I've actually been reading this book, which I have right here. It's um, from the editors of Cracked.com, which is some website. I haven't checked it out yet, but I definitely will do. And it's called You Might Be a Zombie and Other Bad News. Shocking, shocking but utterly true facts. And I mainly bought it because of the title. I thought it was just going to be one of them random books about... You know where people will claim to have facts about zombies, that sort of thing. They're always absolutely retarded, but they're funny and they make me laugh. So, but this one turned out to be uh, this is it's like a collection of facts organised in separate ways, like uh, five things the Nazis gave us, and it's stuff like uh, a couple of really popular businesses and some like clothing lines like Hugo Boss that sort of thing and it's just stuff that you know I didn't know about it I wouldn't I didn't know that uh, Hugo Boss was originally like a Nazi clothes maker or like, uniform maker and also like that I can't remember it. I read it <laughs> I read it a while ago but um, yeah this book is actually really interesting and in fact the other day I had a couple of my mates round and uh, it turned into a quote story time where I was reading out things from the book, I was, and this was going on for about three hours, while we like derped around on a server on Minecraft, and I was doing some like AFK cobble farming, and uh, yeah, it's, there's a lot of stuff in there. There's some really dodgy stuff in there, and there's some really like gruesome stuff, which I'm sure a lot of you will love. But yeah, if you're into reading at all, and you like. Uh, like random facts and stuff like that then yeah definitely check that out as well god I sound like such a product whore don't worry I'm not being paid for this if I was I would have prepared what I was saying not just what I was going to talk about let's have a look. right let's just get a little bit more done on here do, do, do. Uh, if you can't tell this is I'm pretty sure I said this is going to be like a pond or a little ocean thing and I'm just going to build it up because, you know, no proper house is on a uh, floating island style su survival map no proper house on a floating island style survival map is complete without some kind of giant extravagant pool 
and I will be going to the nether probably very soon because I want to get some glowstone oh there's spiders oh yeah spider spawners I want to get some glowstone to light up the bottom of my pool and I want to start using glowstone lamps because the things are fucking beautiful I love them I want to get some Good word. What are you doing in here? You know what? Ooh. It just got some skills. Oh, for fuck's sake. There's forever going to be Squidwards in here now. Yeah, if only the liquids flowed properly. That would just fill itself up. Go in. Fucking. Oh, I hate fighting the current. Anyway guys, that's about 15 minutes there, so uh, yeah, I've been BTBS, this has been Skygrid, and that's a squared, squared, peace.